three-dimensional polyar prolamide gel electrophoresis is one of the most popular protein separation techniques which excels in terms of resolution and sensitivity. Tuli field separates proteins at sequential use at right angles of two different electrophoretic techniques based upon two different properties of proteins. The separation based on their isoelectric points in the first dimension and the electrophoretic separation of uh, proteins according to their molecular weights in the presence of uh, sodium donor self sulfate in the second dimension. The first step in 2D phage is sample preparation and in gel rehydration. The protein is extracted from the root sample. It is then grinded, centrifuged and is stored at minus 80 degrees Celsius. The stored samples are then prepared for lyophilization. The tubes are covered with paraffin sheet and pores are being made for lyophilization. Tubes are then transferred to the life laser. The life lyse sample powder is suspended in 200 microliter of the lysis buffer. is then quantified using Bradford's assay. When the proteins are electrophoresed in a pH gradient, they migrate until they reach a position in the pH gradient where their pH is equal to the pi of the protein. This, at this point, the protein is said to be focused at its pi. So the isoelectric focusing allows the proteins to be separated according to their very small differences in their isoelectric point. The first step is IPG strip rehydration. The rehydration stock solution is prepared and the IPG buffer is added to the rehydration stock solution. The protective cover is removed from the 18 cm IPG strip and the IPG strip is positioned with the gel side down. The lid is slided on to the reswelling tray and the IPG strips are allowed to rehydrate at room temperature. A minimum of 10 hours is required for rehydration but overnight is recommended. The rehydrated IPG strip is removed from the reswelling tray by a pair of forceps. It is then transferred to the immobile and dry strip tray and is set for isoelectric focusing using the multifor. Once the protein samples have entered the separating gel, the negatively charged protein SDS complex continues to move to, towards the anode. Uh, however, when they move towards the when they move in the pH gradient, they are resolved according to their molecular weight because of the molecular saving properties of the gel. The steps involved are selection of gel percentage, selection of gel thickness, preparation of gel solution, equilibration of the IPG strips and electrophoresis. The prepared gel solution is poured into the gel cassette. It is then left for one hour for complete polymerization. The 
IPG gel strip is placed on top of the SDS gel and is overlaid with 2 ml of agarose solution. The procedure is repeated for the remaining IPG strips. Slab gel apparatus is connected to the circulating water bath and the temperature is adjusted to 4 degrees Celsius. The gel is run at constant current. The electrophoresis is stopped when the dye front is approximately 1 mm from the bottom of the gel. The gel is then removed from the gel cassette and is transferred to the fixative solution. The gel is then washed using the washing solution which is 30% ethanol and 70% deionized water. It is then treated with the sensitizer for 1 minute. It is then impregnated for 30 to 60 minutes with the silver nitrate reagent. The image is developed using the developer for 10 to 20 minutes. It is then treated with the stopper for 5 minutes. The protein on the gel are detected as distinct spots which can be assigned x and y coordinates according to their pi and molecular weight respectively. This results in the understanding of the presence or absence of protein expression in the root sample as well as the mutant.